Hey everyone, Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today's video is all about the books I got in August. There are 10 books on this list, if I counted correctly, 9 pre-orders and 1 book that I got because I had the prequel and I need the sequel because I adore the film. Um, I know it's not a lot of books but you know me, I tend to waffle. So I will crack on with showing you the books that I have got. So I will show you the books in alphabetical order apart from the last two and I will tell you why when I get to them. The first book I'm going to show you is Dangerous Remedy by Kat Dunn and it's a beautiful shimmery cover. The nakedness as well is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'll that, that's the cover. That's the inside, so it's a map. And then the naked book is a beautiful like grey type colour with gold, it looks gold on there, it is gold, with gold writing on the edge which I absolutely adore. Excuse me while I put the cover back on. So in this book you are following a group of four outcasts in 18th century Paris who are trying to outrun the guillotine, which you can see on there. In this book, you follow them on their latest mission, which is a girl possessing dark, dangerous powers, being hunted by royalists and revolutionaries alike. I won't read you the blurb, however, there are three lines on the back, three, not two, which I absolutely love, and it says, there is no fate, no destiny, everything is a choice which I love. Um, I loved the blurb of this book when I read it, set in a, I love history, as you should know by my videos. So a YA book set in 18th century Paris. Yes, and the revolution's happening. Yes, that is my jam. Gimme, 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 love it. Um, while I am a bit of a royalist myself, I love the royal family. I also love revolutionary France and the stories that come out of there. So when I heard there was a YA book based on that time period, I had to have it. Um, while it is section classed as YA, um, I'm not sure if you know this, but there is a subsection called NA, which is new, new adult, which is that kind of in between young adult and adult books, um, which I think should be more of a recognised thing because I'm hoping this is more of an NA rather than a YA book just because of the time period and it mentions the guillotine and I'm thinking could it I'm not expecting a lot of blood and gore but I'm not expecting like she turned away from this horrific scene and I'm wanting a bit of description um this was one of my anticipated books of this year so I am really really looking forward to diving into this and hopefully I will carry on reading from this author as this is the first of three books based in 18th century France. I love the cover, I can't stop staring at the cover. And the second book on this list is Witness by Mandasu Heller and this is type of, this is a kind of thriller type book where you follow a girl called Holly and her mum who are constantly on the run and are then in this book, at the start of the book, are in a su illegal sublet in Manchester, I believe, where people from her mum's past turn up and start looking for her, calling her by her name. Holly then falls out with her best friend and starts to feel isolated and alone in this scary world until she makes friends with the glamorous woman Sue across the road. Holly witnesses Sue being beaten by her boyfriend, tw not once but twice, and Sue decides to rely on Holly for help and the last line in the blurb which really got me hooked was you can only run for so long and some will kill for your silence. So I have a lot of things that I think may happen in this book. Um, I had never heard of this author but I believe she has wrote other books before. Well she must have to have a top 10 bestseller on the top. Um, Thrillers slash, slash crime-ish type adult books is something that I am quite a good fan of um, but I do tend to stick to the same author so I am trying to broaden that 
and I am hoping this book and other book, another two books or three books I should say on this list is something that will definitely help with that and it's something that is uh, well, it's definitely something that I want to talk about more on my channel because I do believe the adult crime slash thriller genre um, is something that isn't talked about a lot in booktube, so I'm really looking forward to diving in. The third book on this list is based on one of my absolute favourite movies of all time, and that is Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. I adore this novel and I adore the cover of this book. In this book you follow two sisters Sally and Gillian as they grow up and live their separate lives all with the cloud of magic constantly surrounding them. A tragedy to do with the family curse brings the sisters back together and makes them realise they can't run away from their history. I love the film. I think Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock are amazing as the two characters. I love the two aunts. I I adore the film so I'm hoping that I will adore this book. This is something I want to read after I read the prequel type book. You can read them both separately however I want to read the prequel before I read this. I am hoping I will get around to reading this in October because it's magic. What else am I going to read? And the fourth book on my list is Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifwaco. And I love this cover. It's shiny. I love the animals. I love the shininess like I've mentioned. Yes, I'm holding it here because I've forgotten what it's about. Really bad. I do apologise. If I butcher names, I apologise. I tend to butcher names because, yeah. Tari Sai has always longed for the warmth of her family. She was raised in isolation by her mysterious, cunning and often absent mother, known only as a lady. Straight away I read that and went, Oof. When Tari Sai comes of age, the lady sends her to the capital of the global empire of Artisar, to be chosen as one of the Crown Prince's Council of Eleven. If she's picked, she'll be joined with the other council members through the ray, a bond deeper than blood. But the lady has other ideas, including a magical wish that Tarisai is compelled to obey. Kill the Crown Prince once she gains his trust. That sounds amazing um yeah so as you can tell by reading the blurb that first little bit got me hooked um i had never i've honest this book wasn't on my radar until june um when it when authors of color were being promoted on twitter a lot more than normal and i will admit i don't tend to read a lot of books from, from authors of color and this is something I definitely want to improve on, so I was really glad this was brought to my attention, I will say, and I am really, really looking forward to reading this book. And the fifth book on my list is A Wicked Magic by Sasha Lawrence, and the little tagline says, What evil have these new witches awakened? It's magic, it's me, it's happening. In this book, you follow two friends, Dan and Liz, who find a way to make themselves witches, not realising that the magic they wield has an agenda of its own. And every time they say a spell, they are one step closer to disaster. <sighs> you, you'll quickly realise, I forget quite quickly what my books are about. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at the blurb. Um, so yeah the blurb is actually really good so I will read that Beware the magic in the black book Of course it's a black book When Daniela and Liz stumbled on a way to transform themselves into witches They didn't realise that magic had an agenda of its own That every time the friends cast a spell They were one step closer to disaster If only they'd known Johnny would never have been dragged away into the night in the claws of a horrifying creature. If only they'd known, 
Dan and Liz would still be best friends, same as they ever were, sad and lonely and stagnating in their small town. And Dan's new best friend Alexa would be in L would be safe in LA, far away from the danger they've awoken. If only they'd known that the magic was wicked, if only. This is Sasha Laura Lawrence, the author. This is her debut and it's about the complications of friendship, taking back power and embracing the darkness that lurks within us all. I, I, I like a bit of darkness. You probably can't tell from the blue in the room, but I like darkness. Um, I'm going to show you the outside, what it looks naked, because I've realised something. Beautiful blue book, the right way up. I think it's been bound the wrong way around. <laughs> um, because I don't know if you can tell, but the um, publishing company's insignia is upside down. So I believe it's meant to be this way, but if I, I, I can't read it this way <laughs> because it's backwards and upside down. Um, I believe these are called unicorns, um, but I won't be complaining because I absolutely love this. I love the I love purple. I used to have my hair purple. I adore it. Um, this again is another book I would love to read in October time. Um, but as you will see from my next few TBR videos, that may not be possible. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was book number five. The sixth book on this list is The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. I love that cover. Um, yes, that is a Waterstone signed exclusive. Yes, I've never read anything by this author, but I did buy the signed book. Um, I will, for this book, for this, I will not read you the full blurb. I will read you the first paragraph which grabbed me because I never read anything about one of the things. Let's see if you can guess which one was like, never read about that before, buy it. A captivating novel of money, beauty, crime and moral compromise in which a woman disappears from a container, sh container ship off the coast of Mauritania, I do apologise for butchering that, and a massive Ponzi scheme implodes in New York dragging countless fortunes with it. If you guessed Ponzi scheme, you were correct. Um, I've never read a book about a Ponzi scheme. Someone's going to comment underneath and go, there's loads, Michelle, read them. Please do. Um, yeah, so I'll be honest. I read that paragraph, saw this beautiful cover and was like, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Um, so yes, I am really looking forward to this. It seems a bit different in terms of where it's set. So it's set in British Columbia, um, Canada. I, I, I don't think I've actually read a book in Canada, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, my, my life's goal is that if I ever win the lottery or I have a job that can do this, I will move to Canada. As much as I love being Irish, I will move to Canada and live there forever and ever and ever. So yeah. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to this. It does seem a bit of a small book, however, looks can be deceiving. Um, so I'm not quite sure when I want to read this, but like I said, the way my TBRs are in the next few months, I may end up reading it quicker than I thought. The sixth book on my list is The Less Dead by Denise Mina. In this book, you follow a woman called Margot who is waiting to find her find and meet, I should say, her adoptive family for the first time. When she does meet her aunt Nikki, she is told that her mother used to be a sex worker, was murdered and her killer has never been found. Yeah, I thought I thought that was the case, I forgot then. Yeah, um, so her aunt Nikki is getting threatening letters. So she needs Marco's help to try and find the killer. I, I like thriller. I like thrillers. <laughs> um, yeah, so I saw this title and I'll be honest, was a bit like, ah, I'll have a look. 
then I read the blurb and I was like, ooh, um, yeah. So looking forward to this. I was hoping to, and I'm still, I'm hoping to read this in September, but let's see how my TBR goes. The eighth book on my list is Eight Detectives by Alex Pavese. Before I say anything, I need to show you this book naked. This is the cover. That's it naked. I adore that. I love it. I love it. I would love to have this um, naked, but I know I'd get it dusty or dirty in market and I don't really want to do that. So all I'm going to tell you about this book is what's written on the back. I'm not going to tell you the blurb. I'm just going to write, redo the eight sentences read on the, read, read on the back. Two old friends sip whiskey while a body lies forgotten in an upstairs room. A stranger arrives at a birthday party, but the host has already made his final exit. If no one is left alive on Blue Pearl Island, who killed them? Julia Hart is about to discover that a good mystery can be murder to solve. And that's all she wrote. Um, yeah, this really, really intrigued me. I'd seen a few book bloggers on Twitter raving about this book. So I thought, ooh, I like the sound of it. And then one of them got sent the book early and showed the cover. And I was like, ooh, sold. <laughs> I can imagine my sisters are watching this video going, you bought how many books based on the cover? Yes, ladies, you can read them after me. The next book on this list is They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. This is a YA book where you follow a senior called Jill who, at her school three years ago, her best friend was killed by her boyfriend. He confessed and Jill tried to move on. However, three years later, Jill is going for the lead role in the play and she starts receiving messages that the boyfriend is innocent and was set up. So Jill tries to find out the truth. This, when I read the blurb for this, this reminded me of Good Girl, Bad Blood. Wait, wait, sorry, I will grab the book because that's wrong. <laughs> oh no, I was right. Well, that was a sequel, Michelle, not the first one. Um, so yes I haven't made my bed that's taking pillows so yeah when I read the blurb for this it reminded me of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson where you follow oh, Karen Pippa who five years ago a school girl was murdered by someone called Sal but Pippa doesn't believe so so she does like investigative work as part of her coursework in school to try and find out the murder, uh, murderer, who the real murderer was even. I adore this book. I adore the sequel, Good Girl, Bad Blood. Um, so when I read this and a lot of people who loved Holly Jackson were like, read this, it's amazing. It's kind of the same feel. I, I had to have it. I had to have it. I had to, I had to read it. This is definitely a book I will be reading in September. And the 10th and final book on this list is The Majesties by Tiffany Zhao. I'm going to read you the blurb because you will realise why I wanted this book. Even though I've heard no one talk about it, I had to have this book. Gwendolyn and Estella are as close as sisters can be. But now Gwendolyn is lying in a coma. The sole survivor after Estella poisons the, their entire family. As Gwendolyn struggles to regain her consciousness, she def desperately retraces her memories, trying to uncover the moments that led to such a horrifying act. Inviting us into the opulent world of the Chinese Indonesian ultra elite, from its gilded exterior to its nightmarish core, The Majesties is a haunting novel about the dark secrets that can build a family empire and also bring it crashing down. So the thing that made me want to read this book, I have three older sisters 
we love each other like no tomorrow. We also fight like a cat and dog. So when I read that some sister, and I shouldn't be laughing, had poisoned her family, and her other sister was the only sole survivor, it made me want to read it. Um, obviously, every family has its secrets, so I, I be honest, I don't even know how this book came up on Waterstones when I pre-ordered it, but I did, and it sounds really, really good. So, so um, I'm actually looking forward to reading it and potentially sending my sister's mess um, pictures of certain quotes in the book to the family WhatsApp group going, this is reminding me of you. Oh gosh, have you ever wanted to do that? If I get to the point where it explains why she poisoned them and how, and I, and if you're watching this, girls, and I message you saying, I so want to do this. I I I give you permission to worry, <laughs> um, but yeah. So that intrigued me so much, and I thought, oh, a bit like our dynamic. Well, obviously not like our dynamic, but yeah, I thought, hmm. This sounds good. And that was all 10 books that I got this month. Um, the two books I should say at the end that I was surprised I got were um, They Wish They Were Us and The Majesties. Because according to Waterstones, these two books aren't due out until September. I think the 2nd or the 4th and the 9th or something like that. So when I got them on the 1st and the 5th of August, Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, just makes my TBR look even bigger than it is. Um, so yeah, they're the 10 books. Um, I'm really glad I could do this video now and I'm going to film my next video wearing the same thing. So if you are watching my September TBR, yes, I am filming it the exact same day I filmed this. Um, let me know if there are any books on there that you would like, um, well, that you are intrigued by. Uh, like normal, I am sorry that I did read the blurb on some of them. However, I'm not very good at saying what books are about from blurbs. <laughs> um, majority of the time. So, and I probably got some of them wrong, like normal. But we're all human. We all do that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've read any of them books or you're intrigued by them. Let me know if there are any books that you think are similar to the books I've mentioned and you think I might like them because I'm always on the lookout for new books. Um, but yeah, so that was my books I got in August. Like normal, I will leave my Instagram handle down below and like normal, if you have any hints for filming or editing, let a girl know um, and I will leave you on that note. Bye.